There's concern about indoor air pollution because most of us spend a lot of our time indoors. We spend nearly 90% of our time in indoor environments, 50% of that in our own homes. And we know that indoor air is eight times more polluted than outdoor air. Houses used to be like sieves, with the air circulating throughout. But today they're airtight, with much less air circulation and sometimes inadequate ventilation systems. There are numerous pollutants to be found inside buildings. Firstly, there are biological pollutants in the form of various types of allergens, allergens from dust mites and pets, and other allergens linked to certain molds and bacteria. Then there are the physical pollutants that exist mainly in the form of fine particles or due to the presence of dampness. And finally, there are the chemical pollutants, and these include carbon monoxide, nitrogen dioxide, volatile organic compounds, and even formaldehyde. Indoor pollution has three sources. Firstly, any outdoor pollution that permeates the building, especially if the building is located near to the sources of outdoor pollution. Then there's the shell of the building itself, namely the building materials used, plus things like the coating and the paintwork. And then there's ourselves, with all our activities and habits, for example our use of household products, of stoves and heaters, and of domestic appliances. Rowenta, enjoy technology.